Mike Miner, his numbers from Western and Southern. Well, the last time we saw Mike Miner, he pitched against St. Louis, took the loss in that affair, four innings, and gave up eight hits and five runs. Overall, two and one with a 2 2 ERA. Mullins, left handed leadoff man. And he chops it to Votto, one away. Now, Adley Rutschman, the Orioles' top prospect coming into the season. He stands in, hitting 240, five homers, 17 RBIs. He rolls this to short. He gets down the line okay too. Two down. And now Trey Mancini. Grounded sharply to third. Nice spinning pick and Drury side arm throw in time. Well waste no time and we've seen these defenders get a little creative with the spin cycle. They'll take their swings off the 25 year old right hander Kyle Bradish 6'4 200 and five pounder. It's been a little over a month on the IL with right shoulder inflammation. All indications are it is a green light. He is ready to go. Four of his 10 starts, two earned runs or less, two quality starts mixed in there, including two of his first three starts were quality starts. Face Jonathan India. Shoots this ball in the air to the left. Hayes lost it in the sun. He sprints back. He won't get there. It's off the base of the wall. He sprawls on the dirt. India's turning. And he slams on the brakes. Satisfied with a standing double. A leadoff double. Orioles shift against Brandon Drury. He got him swinging at 97. Runner at second, one out. And the batter is Tommy Pham. That kicks off Rutschman. An alert India claims third. It's a fastball instead. It is in at the knees, and Pham is punched out on strike three. Shift is on for the Orioles against the left handed hitting Joey Votto. India creeps at third. First pitch assaulted. Launched to right center. Gone. The third homer for Votto this week. It'll be Anthony Santander to begin this inning against Mike Miner. Anthony breaks his bat, and this one is fisted into center field. Got jammed, but still muscled it. Austin Hayes standing in with a runner on at first base and one out. Austin Hayes reaches out, pokes one into left field, and Santander turns on the Jets, goes first to third on the Orioles' second single of the inning. A first and third and one out situation for the Orioles. Brings up Ramona Rios and payoff. Popped up. Papierski sheds the mask. Into the railing makes the play and an alert twist with Votto covering at the plate to make sure Santander didn't try to sneak in. There's still men at the corner. Shift is on for Rubnet Odor. The pitch shot in the air to right, looping in Reynolds. He's got it. Orioles have had some trouble with some soft tossing lefties of late despite a right handed heavy lineup minor might be working on his best tonight only 67 pitches through five shutout innings Mancini's on at first with a one out walk tying run at the plate here's Anthony Santander for Baltimore which is looking to get something going offensively a jolt of some kind and he will send one in the air deep to left field and Santander has tied it there have not been a lot of mistake change ups from Mike Miner tonight but that one was a major mistake and a major blast for Santander. Well Joey Crable is out collects two outs but leaves runners on first and second be up to CNL Perez now to get the Orioles off the field making his 41st appearance 34 and two thirds innings of work he has been outstanding that ERA down to 1.30 32 punch outs 13 walks and opponents hitting 232 off the left hander. CNL Perez. He's going to get a pinch hitter here. Donovan Solano will bat for Mike Moustakis. And the rest is history. As is Solano on strike three at 98. Seventh inning, bases clear, one out. Tied to two. The left handed Santa Martin warms up. But you definitely don't want to let this fella get aboard. And Mateo drills one deep to center. Senzel is there and he missed it. It's off the wall and Mateo can tear around the bases on his way to third in there with a triple. Man at third, two outs. Mullins over three, three ground outs. Did not. That is to left center. 
Bam has it. Well, the Orioles will turn to their third reliever of the night. It'll be Dylan Tate making his 44th appearance of the year. That'll put runners at first and second base for one Brandon Drury. The catcher, Papierski, stays at second. Could end up being a port. And that one kicks away. Rutschman to third. Papierski, you are safe. The throw beat him by a lot, and it was a brilliant mess of a staggering slide, maybe, to get in there. But the Orioles are going to challenge. Call in the field is overturned. Runner is out. Baltimore retains. It was that last one. The Reds crowd doesn't like it. But Papierski is out. Buck Farmer has entered for the Reds. And Buck Farmer has been throwing the ball exceptionally well. It's a double for Odor. McKenna the pinch runner to third. And boy, the Orioles are in business now. Second and third. Mullins has put it in play four times tonight, though without a hit. All right, infield pulled in. Love to have a base hit, but you don't need one. He puts it in play, hopping off the mound in the center field. Cedric Mullins comes through. Four to two Orioles on a first pitch swing on a two run hit. And another night where the O's have come from behind to take the lead lead. Earth in second, one away. So it sets up Trey Mancini. On the ground here, off the bag. Oh, and it's going your way. It's going your way. Mullins is in. Rutschman to third. Trey Mancini has finally had a couple of things go his way in a baseball field. Three in, two on, one out. Dowry Moretta is in. Santander in the middle of a three for four day. Oh, he's got absolutely drilled. He's not happy about it. Careful now. Santander looking at Moretta. Here come the benches. Umpires will hold Moretta back. Santander talking to the catcher Papierski. Brandon Hyde will try to get him over to first. And again, that was likely not intentional, but you can understand some residual frustration from Anthony, who's been drilled and his team has been drilled time and again. Spaces are loaded, and Ryan Mountcastle can put this game out of hand. High fly for Mountcastle. We'll see. Rutschman at third. It's going to be Senzel from center. Adley will come in and he will score well ahead of the throw. Three outs away from being two games back in the postseason race, and they'll turn to their all star. Here's Jorge Lopez. Rays have already lost 4 1, which means the Orioles with a win would pull within two games of a playoff spot. And the O's are on the doorstep. Two outs. Here's Reynolds. The traveling party in orange ready to erupt. And a run they will. Knuckle curve ends it. Lopez seals another Orioles win.